So I'm not quitting. It's not what this is about. I failed. I'm a it happened again. I will get my team in order. I promise. Good morning guys, how are you? So today's video is about a YouTuber called Ray William Johnson. I guess he's on TikTok as well with the same name, Ray William Johnson. Well, I've seen this guy online for many years now, I'm quite old, well, I'm in my 30s. And he's a comedian and influencer, you know, basically an online presence, you know. What I liked about this guy personally when he first came out, so when I first saw him was, he was kind of funny. And he kept all of the crude uh, jokes and so forth. I mean, he basically censored the whole thing, you know, even times where he would cut or want to cut, you know, he'd always kind of bleep it out or something like that. And that's something I've always appreciated, someone being able to be funny without the crudeness, without the rudeness. But also, uh, his content was very um, varied as well. You know? That's fucking priceless. Th look at, look at that. Look at you know, so sometimes his content would be about uh, public or social injustice and he would give his commentary, you know, um, he'd always be on the side of good guys, you know, and he looks, I mean, I think he's much older than me, probably in his late 30s or so, sorry, I haven't Googled him that much, but yeah, um, you know, he's got this youthful thing to him as well and, you know, always seems to be on the side of good, you know, very decent and everything else, but also being funny at the same time. And lately he has uh, actually come out for like the last six months. He has come out with a new series whereby he's telling little kinds of stories and whatnot. This guy is quite talented because he also does his own graphics and so forth, you know. But lately, I mean, something's been going on on TikTok um, regarding him that's kind of worrying, you know. I mean, the guy is amazing. His channel on YouTube was one of the first channels to ever reach a billion views. Uh, holy, you know, a billion views. I mean, that's no joke. You know, there's 7 billion people in the world. Imagine he had one seventh of the world having watched his YouTube channel, you know. He was very successful. In fact, he had a show on YouTube called uh, Equals 3. This was about 10 years ago. Okay, now I'm probably about 13 years ago, you know. The show was quite successful and I think he left it in 2014 or 15, somewhere there. I mean, they had legal disputes up, um, uh, regarding the ownership of the show and so forth. Well, the show carried on, but it wasn't as big as it was, you know, when he was there. So anyways, he's doing his own thing. But lately uh, on TikTok, the guy has, you know, kind of been working himself like crazy you know day and night so his goal is to release something new each and every day i mean that's mad you know i've done a few videos here and there and i know how crazy and how hectic it can be to just edit a video and do it i mean i'm not saying my videos are even close to what he does but you know with the amount of work that he does in fact i think he has people working with him in fact he did say he has about eight or nine people working with him and so forth and he just hired somebody new to do his graphics and so forth but generally one of the things that always stood out to me was his eyes you know he looks like he has these eye bags i mean they just dark circles around his eyes you know most of the time at first i just thought it was you know how he looks but now i can see why he looks like a guy that's been overly stressed but at the same time uh, very relaxed. I don't know if that makes sense, you know, but it's just amazing the work ethic that this guy has. I mean, having been so successful already, my, like my guy, this is a billion views and he's still pushing this hard, you know. He even admitted in one of the videos, I'm not sure, I'll see if I can find it. He did say that uh, that's one of the reasons why he doesn't want to have kids because he wouldn't have time because he's literally always working. First of all, respect um to him for that you know someone who doesn't just do things in a selfish way and so forth and you know i'm sure he's gonna be a great parent once he has kids you know but i just want to say if he sees this video or if anyone can share it with him or share it i don't know with your friends or whatever or just reach out to the guy yourself directly you know i'm not trying to promote myself in any way but i just want to say uh a few things firstly his work ethic is amazing he has put in so much, having been so successful. It's like a Mike Tyson, um, Michael Jordan type thing, you know, someone who's at the top and they still, you know, on the grind or Kobe Bryant or something like that. But secondly, this goes to show you as well that human beings at some point were not really satisfied, you know. I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, in some cases, it, it can be a good thing, you know, to not settle for less and so forth. But in some cases, 
when do we know when enough is enough? You know, the guy has been really successful. I'm not sure what's happening in his personal life. I mean, I do know he's quite private about, about his personal life. He is married, but yeah, no kids and so forth. But, you know, I think he should be told that, you know, my man, you're doing okay. You're doing enough. You know, everything is all good. In fact, I did send him a message. Well, I commented on one of his videos. You know, I don't really comment that much. But I did let him know that your videos are great. We watch it every day. And guess what? We're not that important. Um, well, I'm coming from the point of view that, you know, should anything go wrong with him? I mean, should he have, God forbid, you know, none of these things are going to happen. But I'm just giving an example, you know. Should he become ill due to stress and so forth? And, you know, none of us are going to be at his bedside. Yeah, maybe his wife and his family and so forth. But I mean, as the viewers who he's pushing so hard for, you know, we won't be at his bedside. Some people won't even send donations and funds and so forth, you know. So, I mean, this is a lesson to the rest of us, myself included. I always tell people, you know, you need to put yourself first, you know. Whenever you're going through something difficult in life, just try to imagine, say you are to fall ill, get a terrible illness and you're in hospital. Who will be those people who will sit at your bedside, you know, at your bedside day and night waiting for you to wake up? Who will be the people that will be feeding you whatever they eat in hospitals? Is it jello or something like that, you know? These are the people that you need to prioritize, you know. I'm sure the guy is almost in his 40s, he's not 40 already. My message to him is, Ray, be there for your wife, uh, be there for your family, take some days off, you know what I mean? Two or three days, it's all good, your videos are amazing and I'm sure you'll continue to be successful. And last but not least, in the spirit of putting, you know, uh, the people you love first and making time because, you know, I hate to be that guy, but at the same time, I'm glad I'm that guy. His life is short, guys, you know. If you're in your 40s, say, I mean, what's the average um, age that people these days pass on? Maybe 80, 85, even much younger, right? If you're in your 40s, so you might have, say, plus minus 30 years, 35 years to live. That's if you even live a healthy life and go on and so forth to do great things, you know. But, I mean, like anything could happen. I mean, a piano could fall on your head right from the second floor. So, my thing is this. Yes, go for your dreams, strive, work hard and so forth, you know. But keep in mind, never forget the people that matter. Your family, I'm talking your wife, kids, you know, and so forth. But also, the most important person is your creator, the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever we do on this earth is also going to impact what's going to happen in the afterlife. I refuse to believe that once we're done over here, it's like a light switch going off and boop, everything is done. No, 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 no. I do believe we are spiritual beings living in a body, basically like the way you wear your clothing, you know? So you naked would be the real you. But the clothes that also belong to you are not really you. But if people would see your clothes, they would think about you, right? But once you've removed your clothes and sent them to the laundry, you are still you. So that's the real you. So do you get the analogy? Your clothes being your body and the real you being your soul. Let's not kid each other, guys. You have dreams. People are naturally inquisitive spiritual beings. Even those who don't believe in God, like scientists and so forth, they want to go on and, be, and believe in aliens and wonder if life exists out there on other planets and so forth i mean and you can just see human beings have this sense that we're not alone even satanists believe in the devil right freemasons believe in whatever they believe in fact uh the majority i mean the number of people that believe in a life after death are more than the people that don't believe in life after death and even those people who do not believe in life after death i mean there are countless testimonies online just look at some of these near-death experiences also called ndes and you will see former scientists teachers doctors and so forth you know who had been clinically dead you know will tell you stories about what they saw in the afterlife and it's not your mind playing games in you like what some people would say you know it's like some kind of um lsd trip or something like that now it's got nothing to do with that don't listen to those liars you know anyways uh sorry um <clears throat> the video is quite long now almost 10 minutes so yeah ray please 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 take some days off man your videos are great Cheers.